Yo YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be more of like, I guess you could say like a riding vlog. So with that being said, I'm at the skate park right now. I'm gonna strap the GoPro on, catch a session, and then, I don't know, we're just gonna see where the day takes us. Let's do it. I tried to cut it. Sir, I didn't see it. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You're good. Yo, Mike. I hate to be that guy. Let me see, let me see a flare. That was quick. Straight out the gate. Let me see. Here, all right, let's go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me get up there. All right, go. Better be ready. Better be ready. Yeah. <laughs> You're a street rider, right? Yeah. Let me see something extra street. What? You got something on this ledge right there? I can probably hit the down ledge. Okay. All the time you guys are commenting, do more street riding, so I can't do any street riding, so I'm gonna have my friends do it because I can't. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, there you go. Back them up. I filmed that terrible, but I'm not gonna make them redo it. All right, so I didn't get too many GoPro clips, so Mike's here. He's, he's a crazy rider that you guys have already seen, so he's gonna strap on the GoPro and get a few clips for you guys. I'm gonna step in, gonna make it yeah, happen. Yeah, he's gonna rescue this video. <laughs> Shout out to Mike for saving this video. He did all the, almost all the riding in today's video. So shout out to him. You can follow him right here. But uh, I think for uh, for the rest of the video, I'm gonna switch over to something I filmed like a few days ago. The top five things not to do to your pro scooters. So let's switch on right over to that. Getting into the title and thumbnail of today's video, the top five things you should never ever do to your pro scooter. Number five is going to be never. Number five is gonna be never ever throw your scooter. I know sometimes you guys get so frustrated, but honestly, that's the number one thing that breaks your scooter. I know I used to do it so many times before. And my scooters just ended up breaking, my bars are bending, my bars are cracking. I got broken wheels. If you throw your scooter, things aren't gonna be good. You're gonna end up breaking your scooter and it's no good. So don't throw your scooter. Number four on the list is do not ever over tighten your clamp, whether it be an SES, whether it be a double clamp, whether you're riding HIC, IHC, SES, any of those, do not over tighten your clamp because what happens is if you start from the bottom and tighten that all the way down, crank it as much as you can, what's gonna happen is all of these are gonna make pressure on this last one that you're tightening. The thread's gonna come straight out and then you're out 70 bucks and gotta buy a new SES. Same thing with a double clamp, any of those clamps, if you tighten them too much so that one's pinching and this one's open, it's just gonna strip the threads, maybe even strip the Allen key, and you don't wanna do that. So do not over tighten your SES or clamp. Hopping straight into number three of the things that you guys should not do to your pro scooters is grinding curbs, really curbs in general, but if you need to grind a curb, make sure you wax the hell out of it because if you don't, there's so much friction and you end up wearing down the dropouts in the back and once the dropouts wear down, it starts to crack and then there you go, you can't even do any grinds, whether it be on a wax ledge, whether it be on a rail or anything, you can do grinds. So if you are gonna grind a curb, make sure you bring some wax with you, make sure you bring any type of lubricant because if you don't, 
your deck's gonna be broken probably 10 grinds in. So whatever you do, bring some wax, bring some KY jelly, whatever you guys gotta do. Do not grind curbs without wax. For number two on this list, the... Sorry. Three, two, one. For number two on this list, this one's honestly the most important on this list. If you guys are running five millimeter axle bolts, whatever you do, switch them out ASAP. Switch them to six millimeter bolts because these things are one, way stronger. If you can see the difference, this one is way thicker. I don't know if you can see that. The head of the bolt takes a six millimeter instead of a five millimeter. So what that's gonna do is help you so you don't strip out the head of the bolt, so you don't snap your axles when you're doing those big stair sets. This one's super simple. You can just head to Home Depot, grab any of these bolts, just ask them, hey, do you guys have any six millimeter axle bolts or bolts in general? And they'll point you right in the right direction, grab one of these, and it fits perfectly in there. And you don't need to worry about snapping your axle anymore. So as soon as you can, switch out these five millimeter bolts. These are in the past. Things are changing in the scooter industry, so go straight to the six millimeter bolts. Number one on today's list of things not to do to your pro scooter is don't ride a loose headset. I know a lot of you street riders out there ride your scooters really loose just because you guys don't care, but what you guys don't know is that's actually ruining your scooter so much. When you're riding a loose headset like that, there's so much momentum and stress on the head tube, on the bearings, on your bars, and your forks. Everything's just being pushed in like that. If you're riding a tight headset, then everything's nice and solid. Nothing's gonna be moving. Nothing's gonna be sloshing back and forth. So if you're riding a loose headset or loose compression or anything like that, go and tighten that as soon as possible because before you know it, your forks are gonna be cracked, your bars are gonna be cracked, and you don't want that. So go and tighten your headsets ASAP. That's honestly probably the most important thing on this list, if not the second most important. So go tighten your headsets. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. It's actually a few days later that I'm filming this outro, but uh, here's a little sneak peek for my next video. That's all I'm gonna show you guys. So if you guys wanna see that video, make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.